Now, as I mentioned, uh, some of the key players, namely semi-solids, make up the majority of all uh, dosage forms that are on the market. So in 2016, the market size was just a little bit less than $95 billion globally. So looking at this chart here, you can see ointments make up a big part of that. Creams, lotions, and to a lesser extent, uh, gels and pastes contribute to about 75% of the total global market. So Amy, you just mentioned that creams are one of the, the biggest players in the topical market. Why is this the case and are there any challenges in this delivery method? Creams are really a, a desirable dosage form because of many positive attributes. Uh, the sensory properties can be tailored in such a way that it can um, really meet uh, the targeted audience or the targeted consumer. They also um, have opportunities for increased uh, dermal drug delivery and uh, uh, through stability through incorporation of the correct uh, excipients and um, consideration of the active ingredients. However, uh, creams as emulsions can um, be relatively unstable, and that is by nature, um, they aren't at a thermodynamic minimum energy. And because of that, it's important to carefully consider the excipients or the vehicle that's being used um, in cream development because we can help slow um, the coalescence of oil droplets, for example. Um, we can also start to think about the microstructures and uh, the species that can um, achieve the targeted properties that we're looking for. What are those? What does what the ideal cream formulation look like? Right. Well, um, I, I think the best way is to think about um, when you're applying a cream, what are some things that um, we, we consider or the consumer um, is considering? The first is a really nice sensory profile. So a cream that isn't um, greasy, it doesn't leave uh, too much residue, um, that's easy to apply. Um, so you want something that rubs in nicely. Um, but we also, um, at the end of the day, really need to consider the uh, the targeted profile, the, the dermal drug delivery. And so um, as we formulate and we help our customers to formulate creams, that's one of the critical aspects. As you apply a small amount, think about how this is rubbing in. Is it leaving a residue on the skin? Is it greasy? How effective has the active ingredient been incorporated? So, uh, for example, you don't have any um, large crystals that might result in um, irritation of the skin. So these are all important considerations. It's also easily administered from the tube. I can apply it anywhere on my body without it dripping off my finger. So these are all really important considerations um, when formulating a cream.